Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do a video review on my favorite face mask because I recently bought this off, I think I found it on a brand's exclusive sale, which the link is down below, um, and I'd never really heard of it, but apparently like they said on the sale that it was like a real famous popular one, so I just bought it and decided I'd give it a go. And it turns out that I really, really, really love it. It's actually quite gross because what it does is it kind of pulls out all the crap out of your pores, like all the oils and things, and just really helps to like kind of refine your skin and get all the crap out and make your pores shrink. So I thought what I'd do today, yeah, is a review and a demo and show you all the stuff coming out. I'm also taking photos because I want you guys to see like the before and after and close-ups of my skin. I took close-ups of my nose and pores and just stuff like that so you can actually really really see if it's doing anything. And as you can probably tell, I have some breakouts. Me and my boyfriend did the cheeseburger challenge over on his channel where the aim of it is basically to eat as many cheeseburgers as you can. And I have been feeling like crap since I did it. It was on the weekend, it is now Thursday, and my skin broke out because just too much crap. And I usually eat relatively healthy, so perfect time to test it out. For sure. So I'm going to stop talking about the actual mask because after I do this demo I'll slap on some makeup and I will talk to you more about the actual product, my review, detailed uses for it and all that kind of jazz. So I'm just going to show you how I apply it and show you the process and what it looks like as it dries and just all that kind of thing. So my skin right now is clean. I do have painterly paint pot on my eyelids, my eyebrows done, a little bit of mascara on just because I'm taking photos of my blog. I don't want to look completely tragic. So I washed my face with this Michael Todd Honey and Oat Deep Pore Cleanser, my favourite cleanser of the moment. And I also exfoliated my face with this Tropical Fruit Enzyme Exfoliant Scrub, which is almost empty. I really, really need another one. And I washed my face in the shower where it was real, real hot and my pores have kind of opened up. So that is the situation. Now this is what the packaging looks like. Basically I'm going to take a foundation brush that I don't use because I don't tend to use these often. This is an EXO Beauty foundation brush and the reason I like to use a brush to apply it is I find I use a lot less and I also make it go a lot further rather than using my fingers and I, you know, you want to make your products last as long as you can, especially if they're pricey. So open it up and the fun part about this is it is a super dark mask. At least I always think that's really exciting. Got a bit on my finger, so I'll just wipe that off. But it's a dark grey colour, so yeah. It smells very really minty and fresh, kind of like Vicks Vapor Rub. Just take a bit on your brush, and it's got a mirror here. As with any mask, don't get it right around your eye area, so leave a good gap because your under eye area is very sensitive. I like to really make sure I get a lot around my nose area because that's kind of like my problem area. So now you look stunning. Make sure you wash your brush. If you wash your brush straight after you use it, you'll be fine. You won't ruin it or anything like that. Okay, so you can already see that immediately it starts drying. So you can see it goes kind of like a powdery grey colour. It's drying down there. And I'll show you a close-up in a second when it dries a little bit more because you can actually see the oil. You can see the spots where the oil is getting drawn out of your skin. So you can see the actual texture of the mask. There are some chunkier bits, which I guess is just one of the ingredients. You can see these bigger spots that are being left over. Like these are over my zits that I currently have. And it's literally like drawing out the oils out of the zit. So yeah, you can use it as a spot treatment. Like if you have a big zit, you can just pop some on it. It'll dry it out kind of thing, just like the other treatments seem to do. This does have like salicylic acid in it, which is like a pimple cure remedy potion thing. Now you can leave this on for like varied amount of time. So I just kind of leave it on until it's been completely dry for about five to 10 minutes. So I'll wait a few minutes and then come back and show you what it looks like when it's completely dry and you can see all of the gunk being pulled out. I'm sorry that I'm real up and personal, but I really want to show you. You can see all those little dots on my nose. That is the oil and blackhead stuff coming out of my pores. So you can really see it working, which I always think is a really good indicator for a product. Like, it's so gross, and I'm sorry for showing you this, but it's so gross that it's so cool and so addicting. And I'd say this is really what helps to shrink those pores down because you get all of that crap out. So yeah, looking pretty crazy, but basically I'll take shots on my blog. I'll put the blog post down below um, of like, you know, once it's completely dry and right before I wash it off, what like my face looks like but you see the effect and then once it's completely dry I've been 
10, 20 minutes, however long you think you want to leave it on for, you just rinse it off and on here it says remove with water. So I'm just going to remove it with warm water and then towel dry my face, tone and moisturize and I'll come back and show you what it looks like afterwards, like what my pores look like and everything and then we'll do a review. Okay, I thought I'd just better film right before I rinse it off. So this is what it looks like right before I rinse it off. Super, super tight feeling on your skin, but like look at all this. You can see it and you can see the photos on my blog, all of that crap that's come out and that's basically just all of your enlarged pores, all of the oils that are in them that are like preventing them from shrinking down. That's all of that crap. So that is that. I followed up with my Michael Todd Blue Green Algae antibacterial toner and I also used some antioxidant serum with DTMAE and alpha lip lip lipoic acid lipoic acid I don't know so this is what my skin looks like now very clean feeling very soft my pimples have noticeably gone down a bit in swelling my nose is so smooth I can't feel a single bump over it my pores are visibly um, smaller and tighter and yeah, I just love the result. Like obviously it's not going to give you perfect skin, it's not going to make yours, it's just vanish. But it does speed up the process and it does clean out your skin and it does make it feel visibly smoother right afterwards, like immediately afterwards. Okay, so I just applied my makeup and I think I should note that it glided on a lot smoother than normal. It really just helps to improve the texture of my skin, I've noticed. So on here it says it is acnesitic, 4.4% glycolic salicylic lactic mandelic, pyruvic, and azelaic. No idea what any of that means, but I think it's mostly like acne medication. You can use this as often as you'd like. It says on here, definitely visibly reduced the zit size, kind of like how they stick out. It really kind of pushed it back into my skin, not pushed it out. It took out all the oils out of the pimple and really reduced the swelling, I should say. The texture of my skin, the way it feels, always better. My pores always look reduced. Um, I suffer from quite big kind of pores over my nose. I suppose I should have said at the beginning of this video, my skin type is pretty much normal. Sometimes normal to dry in winter, otherwise it's fairly normal. And I am acne prone on my chin area, hormonal area. I only get hormonal pimples most of the time during that one time of the month or if I eat some stuff that's really bad or if I'm really, really stressed. My pore situation, blackheads and all that kind of thing always occurs around the center of my face, so my nose. Um, my forehead's usually pretty sweet and my cheeks are usually pretty sweet. So yeah, you can use this as a spot treatment. So if you just have a zit, you can put it on it, suck out all the oil and help it go away a bit faster. Um, I'm not sure how this will work on acne, 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 like covered skin, like if you have chronic kind of acne, but I would at least give it a go because it really does help to reduce my zits as I said. It really helps even out my skin in terms of all the little bumps and like the oil that comes out is just amazing. So even if you do have like severe chronic acne, you could always just do a test patch like down here on your chin, just put it on a few of them, um, see how it goes, see what comes out, wait a few days, see if they reduce it all and then go ahead, go for it, put it wherever you want. I actually did use this on, I had like a random little blackhead on my neck. I sometimes get them, don't know why, but I put it on it, got rid of it straight away. And it says it's for pores, problem skin, blemishes, pimples, breakouts, zits, spots, black and white heads, razor bumps, and ingrown hairs. So you could use this anywhere on your body pretty much, I'm guessing, I don't see why not. I don't really have anything else to say, I've used this like six times, barely made a dent in it. It goes a really long way, especially if you pair it up with a brush. You can just use your fingers if you want, but you'll probably find that you use a bit more and it won't be so even because you really want a fairly even coverage of it over your skin just to make it work the best so that it all dries at the same time and you're not waiting for one side to dry and one side's completely dry and you know what I mean. You can leave it in 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. I usually just leave it on until it's completely dry and really tight so it can take like 10, 15 minutes. And I really don't know what else to say about it except I love it and it's just amazing. Like I love gross stuff and being able to see all of that oil that is pulling out of your really enlarged pores, it's just pretty cool I reckon. I still absolutely love, if you're wondering, my like what is it, bee venom mask that I featured in one of my favorites videos recently. Um, but I like this one more because you can actually pull out the crap. I should really say I like them for different things because they're different masks. This one is definitely for pores. If you've got visible pores, it's for if you've got 
blackheads and it's for if you've got pimples and stuff on your face um, it'll help smooth all of those kinds of things down but what I like to use my bee venom mask for is it'll really make my skin plump and juicy feeling and just really bouncy and fresh and nice like that so this isn't that kind of thing it's not anti-aging and it's not um, refreshing I guess I could say it's just purifying it's a purifying mask and if you have problem skin give it a go and let me know how you like it apparently there are similar ones from Lush and other brands but some people said that they didn't really work for them so maybe you could try this instead or if you want you could go try a Lush one um, I'd be interested to see what other kind of masks like this are out there because I really do enjoy this one a lot and I'll definitely be repurchasing it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too all over the place it's the first time I've really done a video like this um, so yeah, um, if you did like it, thumbs it up and maybe give me ideas on what other videos I could do that are kind of similar to this. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!